Objection. This is the true condition and life of an unconverted person, and such persons must therefore not be considered as being converted. Answer. If someone were thus inclined to all manner of sin at all times, and would be without strife in this regard, there being no conflict between light, the conscience, and the lusts, but rather between will and will, affection and affection, and if all this would transpire without a sorrowful languishing under it, without seeking, supplicating, weeping for forgiveness, receiving Jesus unto sanctification, as well as justification, without repeated restoration and a walking into the fear of God, then I will admit that such a person is not converted. He ought not to comfort himself with his weakness and the fact that saints fall into sin.